gals and gents, this is Tanya coming to you from the Glam Queen's Kingdom with an unboxing um, video for a product um, uh, called Tempera Paint Sticks. And this um, paint stick set is by the company Shuttle Art. And um, I saw a um, an Instagram or YouTuber um, using this and I thought it was so interesting that I wanted to try it out for myself and with this particular um, set of uh, paint sticks you get 32 colors um, you get 20 classic colors you get six of the metallic colors and then you get six neon colors which I think is a good variety of um, uh, paint sticks and colors to use and a few things that um, are standing out for the characteristics of these particular paint sticks. Um, one is that they're washable. One is that they're quick drying. They're, um, they're very vibrant colors. And then they're twistable. So they actually twist from, you know, the you hold them and then you twist from the bottom. And then it says no water and brush needed. So I am really interested in in um, unboxing this uh, product and sharing it with you guys. I also have a piece of watercolor paper um, here that I'm going to do a swatch of each color. And what I'll do is I'll write out the names and then do a um, do the color swatching, and we'll go from there. But let me un unwrap this and let's just go ahead and delve right into it and get started. So the box comes well packaged and you get two trays of um, beautiful colors. Look at these. Oh my God. I love them already. Ah, yes. Okay. Um, little colors. What? Shut the front door. Aren't these gorgeous? Okay. Just the, the sticks, the packaging of each stick to me, beautiful. Look at these. Yes. Okay. So, so we're going to go ahead and, um, what I'm going to do is write out each name of the, um, the paint stick, write out each, the name of each paint stick on my paper. And then I'm going to come back and we're going to swatch a color for each one. And we're going to go from there and see what they look like and, um, how they react they're supposed to be permanent, um, but they're also washable. So you can use a wet, um, like a, a, a wet baby wipe maybe, or a, um, a, uh, a wet napkin or whatever to, um, you know, wet cloth to just kind of remove any marks or whatever, um, you know, easily remove them. So let me do the, um, let me put the names of the colors down and then I'll come back in a moment and we'll swatch each one, okay? So what I did is, um, I didn't see names of the colors on each um, uh, uh, paint stick. So I'm going to go ahead and actually, um, you know, just go ahead and, and go from each tray, like pick up a stick from each tray. And what I did was I numbered them. So there are 16 colors in each tray. And what I'm going to do is swatch each um, stick. So I've numbered them 1 through 16, which is the first tray, and then 17 through 32, which is going to be the second tray. And what I'll do is after I swatch each one, I will put them back in the respective places there. So let's go ahead and just get started. These colors are very, very pretty. Look, this is what they look like. What? Look at this. Okay, so I'm in love with this one already. And so basically you see me using the um, screw there to, you know, get more pigment out and to lower the pigment back in. And so, yeah, let's just go. They're beautiful. What? Oh, wow. <laughs> what? Oh, okay. I love you already. Yes. Okay. Number one. <laughs> okay. Now, these are all the classic colors. Remember, we're doing classic colors first, and I believe this entire tray is going to be the, the group of classic, and then I think a few classic colors are on the tray number two, um, but then they turn over to, um, they change over to metallic, and then they change over to neon. So let's just go ahead and continue. So, I'm sorry. Oh, oh, 
Okay, um, ha, little top. <laughs> Look, aren't they beautiful? Oh my lord. Okay, so this one was more like a, the first one was more like a, oh, what? Oh, yes. Okay. Okay, little stick. Look. Can you see the difference there? How beautiful. <gasps> okay, I'm loving you. Loving, loving, loving. Okay, so let's just keep going. This is like an orangish color. Wow. Okay. So what I'm going to do... Oh, wow. Yes, these colors are beautiful. I'm just going to keep going. Okay, number four. Let's go. This is a beautiful pink. Look at this pink color. <gasps> this is like a bubblegum pink too. Let's see. <gasps> what? Okay, number four. Oh, number four. And this yellow. Look at this beautiful sun. Oh, okay. So, look. What? Mm, oh, yeah. <laughs> really? Okay, number five. Look so far. Wow. Let's see what they're doing. Okay, look. Not much has come out on my finger. But look, no smudging there. Look, these are kind of light fast. Just a bit. A little bit came right there, but that's not bad. Look. <gasps> okay. What? Okay, let's go to number six. Okay, number six. Let me put these out here like this. Maybe that'll... Hopefully you can see them. And um, you can see the, the tray. Oh, the, I love... The colors are just making me feel happy. How about that? The colors are making me feel extremely happy. So, okay, let's go to number six. <laughs> okay. <gasps> yes. Okay, number six. All right, number six. <laughs> seven. Okay, so now we're going into some of the greens and blues. All right, number seven is more like a lime type green. Number seven. Okay, number eight. <gasps> oh yeah okay so look at number eight it's like this deeper darker green i love oh come on number nine not nine is more like this like a light minty color oh yes it is yes it is look yes and then look at what it looks like on the paper <gasps> mm. i'm loving the colors and I purchased these on Amazon. I want to say the, the the entire kit was like, um, look at this blue. <laughs> look at this blue. Oh, God. Okay. I'm excited about these colors. Oh, yes. So um, the kit was, I believe it was like $26, um, maybe $26.99 or something like that or whatever. But in my opinion, oh, I am in love. I'm loving them a lot. Look at this blue. Okay, number 11. <laughs> Look. Look how rich and vibrant they are. Oh. <gasps> oh. Number 11. Let's go to number 12. Number 12 was more like a, a purpley blue. Let's go. Let's see. <gasps> I can't. Okay, every time I think I can't get any more excited about the colors, I'm just like, oh, I'm excited. I'm okay. I'm even more excited. Look at this. Look at the blue. Can you see this? Like, look at this. Let me see. Look at the. <sighs> Come on, number 13. Oh, wow. Okay, number 13. That's the dark. Okay, so hopefully you can see the difference between these blues. And they're so gorgeous. But look at how vibrant the colors are. Oh, wow. Okay. Let me just get through. And then... <clears throat> oh, look at the purple. Ha! Look at the purple. Okay. <gasps> look at the purple. Shut the front door. Shut the front door. Oh, come on, number 14. Oh, wow. <gasps> okay. I'm loving all of it. I'm loving all of these. And I'm actually probably... Look at the, okay, so now we're going into the browns. Look. Okay, number 15. Wow. Okay, number 15. <laughs> ah! These are a bit different from gelatos. So, they are not um, like your gelatos. They're similar, 
but I believe the pigment might be a bit different um, between the two and I actually feel like these are a bit different. It could be because of the um, the, the paper that I'm using and um, I don't know, but I'm absolutely in love with, look, I'm smearing these and I'm using my finger, just my, my regular finger and nothing's happening. These are dry. They're not smearing or anything. Let me see. So this one is, is, is light, they're all light fast, but this one needed a few more minutes to dry. And so a little bit did come out on my finger, but not, not much. If I had waited a few more minutes, that would have been dry and, and would not have smeared at all. So let's go, that was tray number one. So let's go to tray number two. And tray number two, like I said, will be, um, you will have the remaining uh, classic colors and then you will go into the uh, metallic ones and then the neons. So we're going to go ahead and start with, let's start with number 17, which is going to be our black. So hopefully you can see. All right. So we're going to go with our black and we're at number 17 now. Look at the black. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. Yep. You know what? This has to be one of the nicest blacks that I've seen. Look at that. And these dark blues, I'm, I'm actually loving these. This blue is a blue that I've... the darker blue that I've been looking for and trying to find the right one. Oh, I love it. Okay, so this one is a white one. So this white stick, I'm hoping will show up a little bit um, on this. We're not sure. Let's see. Oh, I can see it. Oh, yes, I can see this. Okay. Aha! Okay, let me show you the color. Let me show you what it looks like. Look. But then let me show you what it looks like swatched on. Hopefully you can see that white right there let's see can you see it hopefully you can see a little bit of it it's a little difficult because of the paper um yeah but i like that if you had that on maybe a black swatch card or a black cardstock or a darker colored um, cardstock you would probably really be able to see it so now we're gonna go into let's see Okay, so this one is a metallic. So the the um there are a couple more classics in here and then they they appear to be just a bit mixed up. Let me see if I can go ahead and get the classics together. And then that way I can get them out of the the um and then the metallics. Yes, I think that's what we need. Yes. Okay, and then the others are metallics and neons metallics. I'm switching these up because I want to have them all together. Um, like all the neons together and then all of the metallics together. And so this one is a metallic. Um, neon, 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 neon. And then this. Okay. So after the black, we have the white. And then we have this, this um, beautiful, it's like a light blush, kind of peachy color. Let's see what's going on. Oh, look. Look, shut the front door. <gasps> shut the front door. Look at this. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Here we go. <gasps> yeah. Oh. Okay, my love. What? Okay, and then <laughs> look at the. Okay, I'm loving these. Look at the. Look at the pink. <laughs> ah! Shut up. Look. I mean, stop it. <gasps> Oh, I'm in love. <gasps> Get out of here. You know what? Okay. <laughs> you probably, you all will probably see quite a bit of these sticks in my projects coming up, maybe. <gasps> oh, look. <gasps> this is more like a watermelon, coral watermelon. Okay. You know what? Ask me if I'm in love with these. I'm in love with them, people. I'm in love with them. Okay, so here's another yellow. I believe this might be a little 
lighter, but this is the metallic. These are the metallic. Let me see. Yeah. So we're starting the metallic colors. Okay. So the last one that I did was the coral. Let me see if you can see the metallic shine. Can you see the shine here? Look at that. Yes. The others were matte kind of, but these are now going into the metallics. So here we go. Oh. Okay, you know what? <laughs> they, and the colors are so creamy. Look. Look. They're so creamy. <gasps> oh. Oh. Love. Yes. Love, love, love. Okay, people. I'm in love. Here's the purple and metallic. Look at this. Oh, my God. But look at the shine. You can almost see some of the sparkle in the top of the um the uh stick there okay so let's go <gasps> oh yeah okay you know what <laughs> what i can't okay let's just go go through okay here's a brown metallic oh you can almost you can see the the look at the shine look at the sparkle Come on, 24. What? <laughs> okay, here's the silver. Oh, my God. <gasps> Look at the silver. Look at the silver. <gasps> uh, okay. What? You know what? And then here's the gold. Here's the gold for sure. Look at the gold. <gasps> uh, okay, here we go. Come on, number 26. What? Wow. All right. Okay. So those were the metallics, right? And now we're going to go into neons. But look at the metallics. Look at the shine in the metallics. Can you see it? <gasps> look. Oh, I, I love it. I love. <gasps> oh, I love. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Come on, number 27. Okay, so now we're going into the last six colors, which are now the neon colors. Now, these are probably going to blow me away. <laughs> okay, so let's go. Okay, so look at this bubblegum pink color. Let's just go ahead. I can't. <gasps> look how... <laughs> look how vibrant. You better stop it. Okay, orange, let's go. This is the neon orange. Wow, okay. <laughs> wow. Okay. All right, neon purple. What? Okay. <gasps> Every time I put color down, I'm like, <gasps> because I just, I'm like, wow, okay. All right, neon blue. Come on. What? Oh, my. Shut up. I mean, stop. Stop it. Oh, neon green. Come on. <laughs> Come on. <gasps> yep. Yeah. And then here's another bright burst yellow the neon yellow oh my lord here we go <gasps> i'm in love with this whole group of colors so if you can't tell <laughs> i'm in love with all shut the front door i said shut the front door look these are beautiful and look at the okay so let's look at the color swatch these are all of the tempura paint sticks. There are 32 in all. The first 16 colors are all the classic colors. So they're just matte pigments. They're not um, sparkly. They're not neon. They're like, like I said, the classic colors. And um, they are absolutely amazing. Just vibrant colors. Look. Oh, 
I love. And then you have um, numbers uh, 17 through 26, which are, let's see, you're black, you're white. Hopefully you can see the little dot right there for the white. And then um, your blush and uh, pink mauve color. And then you go into um, the uh, metallics. And it actually starts at number 21 with this blush coral color. And then it kind of goes through number 26. So hopefully you can see the shine and the metallic pigment picked up in those. And then you have um, the neon colors. So you have the six neon colors, which are numbers 27 through 32. And there you see the beautiful neon colors. They're beautiful. And they remind me of being young. <laughs> They remind me of youth and I'm just like, wow. And so just so you see, okay, so I'm running my finger through the colors. And again, there's no color on my finger. Okay. Now, I mean, you see a little bit of, of shading, but it's nothing like the color coming off and it didn't smear at all. So um, what I want to do is um, just kind of make sure that we are clear on what these colors actually do. Again, the set includes um, the 20 uh, bright classic colors, and then it includes, let me just put this over to the side so we can see what I am mentioning. And let's see, let's see if I can do it this way. Hopefully, hopefully you can see a little bit, but I'm going to do a another, I just want to make sure that we can see the the colors here that I'm talking about. So you get a total of um, the 20, um, the bright uh, classic colors, and then um, you get the um, six, it's the luminous uh, metallic colors, and then you get the six um, dazzling neon colors. That's what they are, dazzling, yes. I mean, look at the, look, <laughs> look at the colors. But then looking at the trays, I mean, look at, look at the trays. And um, it says no water and brush are needed. Um, you just open the package and you just start painting. What? I, there's nothing else to do except to start painting. You just start painting. Look. You select your color and you just start painting. I love it. Um, it says that they're encased in small barrels, uh, small round barrels. Um, that allows kids and adults to create colorful paintings without any mess. So your children can use these and you can be um, <laughs> at ease um, feeling, you know, not uh, worried about if they're going to um, paint on something, a surface or something like that, that will get messy or won't, um, you know, uh, or, or like the way paint is. Paint can be messy a little bit or whatever, but with these, they can handle them really, really well because of the size. And um, without all the mess that you would probably get with um, painting and, you know, having to be extra careful and everything or whatever. Um, they're quick drying. So um, typically there are no leaks and no drips. So these are, you know, quick drying. They're not going to drip. And, and, you know, like if you um, use paint and things or whatever, there's no mess, no leakage. Um, and you don't have to worry about the smears and smudges or whatever. Um, they're washable and um, easy to clean. Um, you don't have to worry about um, any paint stains. Um, <laughs> you can easily remove any marks that are um, on there or whatever with a wet cloth or like a baby wipe or whatever. And these sticks, these paint sticks actually work well on paper. You can use them on cardboard. You can use them on canvas. You can use them on glass. You can use them on wood. You can use them on ceramic wall. <laughs> you can use them on mirrors and posters, whatever you want, whatever you want color on, you can use these paint sticks according to um, the, uh, the instructions so I just want to give you this preview and what I want to also do is do one um, swatch down here at the bottom to um, use one of my um, to use like a wet medium like a baby wipe maybe some water or something like that and I want to see how they react 
So here I'm just going to use one of the random colors and um, I think what I'll do is start with the, just use one of the classic colors and like I said, just add uh, just a little bit of color um, to see. Um, why did I do that just now? <laughs> I wanted the classic color. So I'm going to just add, and you can blend these, I believe. Let's see. Um, that's the number one. Let's do number four. Just adding, I'm just adding some color down on the, um, the cardstock, this watercolor paper. And I'm blending, look at this. I'm actually blending these two colors together. And what I want to do is actually, so I'm, I'm showing you the color stick. So I just blended this color with this, um, with number one. <laughs> That's what we're going to call them. Number one, number four. And then I'm going to use, I'm going to use a little bit of number six, <laughs> this, this color here. And I'm just going to just overlap them a little bit. And basically what I'm trying to do is one, this color is blendable. You don't have to you know, blend it out or whatever, because as you're rubbing, the color is actually blending, if you can see that, and it makes a nice, beautiful overlap. And there I just used my finger, and it's actually, you can feel it drying. Now, I just, I just put that down, took my finger, <laughs> look, there's no color on my finger. You know what? Okay. So then... What I want to do is I want to add just a, a bit of color. I want to add a little bit of color and see what this does. And so what I do, what I have here is my water bottle, just a plain bottle of water. And I'm just actually just, oh, I think I got some up here <laughs> by mistake. So I want to see if um, this is going to smear a lot. So there is some movement, but it's not terrible. So I'm not sure. Let's see. Oh, okay, so I wonder if it's because I didn't let it dry enough. I don't know. But let's do, what I'm going to do is do one of these colors. So you see, I was able to move this color. I was able to move this color. So, let me see how the baby white reacts to it. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to try and move some of the color, one of the colors up here, and see where we go. So, look, this is what's happening here. And that's okay with me. I think that gives some interest, some movement and stuff. Let's see what happens with the colors that have already dried. Let's just see if they move. Yes, they do move. So, they're not uh, permanent, exactly permanent, because they move with the water. So when they, they are actually, and you know what, that's why it says that it's washable and whatever. But they're not as, you know, messy as, I guess, um, watercolor paint or acrylic paints would be, especially like when you have kids that are, um, using these uh you you know trying to do crafts and things or whatever and i'm okay with this because i can still see the deep dark color but i believe this also gives it some dimension just being able to 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 see some of this color move but the the spot that i actually colored in is still there i love that and you can still see the the image here where I've colored in, this looks like a sun, a deep, dark sunburst back here in the backdrop. But I think it gives such a nice, um, a nice hue. So what I'm going to do is now I'm going to use my baby wipe. So this is just a plain baby wipe. I just grabbed it out of the pack and I just used the, uh, <laughs> use it to wipe the um, paint off my brush. And so let's just give it a go. So I'm thinking that because it will move, the, the, the water will move the color with the brush, it's going to also react to this baby wipe. So let's give it a go. Oh, but look at how it's blending that out. Oh, okay. So 
Wow. Ooh. <gasps> okay. So basically, you can pull this color out. Okay. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. <gasps> okay. So I'm pulling the color out. Oh, look. Look at the variation. Let me wipe this up. Look at the variation there. So I pulled some color out there and took it here. I love it. I love it. I love it. I still love it. I don't care. I love it, love it, love it. So the thing is, is that you can use these um, wet or you could use them dry. And I think me starting out with them, I'm going to use them dry and then maybe experiment a little later with them wet. So thank you guys for joining me on this unboxing. Let me know what you think about them. Do you like the colors? Do you think they're beautiful? Do you think you might um, purchase some maybe for your use or maybe for your family's use, your kiddos, maybe your um, relatives, maybe have a paint party, you know, with the kids and um, instead of using paint paint, you can use these um, tempura paint sticks. So let me know. Leave a comment down below if you would. And um, if you enjoyed this video and you enjoyed the content, give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment if you would. I'd appreciate it. And then if you have not already done so, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. So we can continue going on this journey together. And yes, look at my, okay, little, um. Tempura uh, paint sticks? Yes! So here I just finished off my um, swatch card here, my tempera paint sticks, and I just put my name here and the today's date. And yes! Um, again, please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And yes, I will see you Glam Dolls and Gents here soon. And until the next video, I hope you all are blessed. And yes!